India ready to visit the red planet with its orbiter Mangalyaan. I have with me Dr. Kiran Kumar, one of the key scientists in the Mangalyaan mission, who has, ha, has a role in about three of the payloads. Dr. Kiran Kumar, are you excited by Mangalyaan? No, we are extremely excited by this Mars Arbiter mission, primarily because this gives us an excellent technological opportunity to demonstrate the capability that we have built over the years, and it challenges us as in putting up many hurdles for us to put a spacecraft into the Mars orbiting path of a highly elliptical orbit of 366 kilometer to 80,000 kilometer. And this is an extremely exciting period for us because we are coming closer and closer to the day when we are expecting to put the satellite into the orbit first by the rocket and subsequently over a period of about nine months, we will move on to the satellite will reach the Mars and get captured by the Mars gravity. Are you happy with the scientific payloads which are flying on it because you're essentially a science man. So are you happy or could you have done better? See, one of the key things we need to appreciate in this is the entire set of science payloads that have been developed have been developed in a very short time. So the naturally what happens is the, in terms of the challenges that are there in building this to produce meaningful results once you are in the Mars orbit is an extremely important aspect. Of course, in terms of what could have been done or what should have been done, given more time, we would always have built better than what we have done today. But in the context of the time and the, the available constraints on the spacecraft itself, in terms of how much mass it could carry, we can definitely say we have done an excellent job of uh, producing a set of imaging, set of uh, instruments which are going to bring in very interesting results is what we can say at this point of time. Uh, do you think you will reach the Mars orbit? Because it's a very tough call from here, from Earth to Mars. No, we have absolutely no doubt in uh, reaching the Mars orbit and uh, also doing all the necessary maneuvers so that the satellite goes around the elliptical orbit, what we are planning. We are extremely confident about that. Now, th there, is, there is a discussion that a comet may hit Mars around the same time. Is that going to be something which you are looking forward to or it is something which you are afraid of that it may come in the way of Mangalyaan mission? See, what we are expecting is, of course, this, there is still a lot of uncertainty about what exactly will happen, where that comet will come and how much of uh, Mars it will be able to actually engulf during the thing. But we are looking at it also as an opportunity because it gives us a unique uh, set of observation capability very close to a comet and this is a unique opportunity, we would say, because like in any other case, we are trying to look at opportunities in the situations that we encounter. So, so the comet is going to be an opportunity. Do you, you don't think it will come in the way of our instruments functioning? No, it won't come in the way of instruments functioning. But of course, we have to go through the details of uh, between now and uh, the time we reach the Mars. We need to understand more and more about this comet. But we are not very much uh, concerned about its impact on the spacecraft itself. What lessons have you learned from Chandrayaan-1, which you have incorporated in the scientific instrumentation, which you are now carrying on the Mars Orbiter mission? See, one of the key lessons would be the kind of uh, testing that you do on the payload itself, what kind of environmental tests you do, and in terms of actually evaluating the performance, we have uh, taken some lessons from Chandrayaan, and also in terms of many of the, as uh, the time available for realizing the hardware is small, many times what we need to do is we need to use commercial off-the-shelf components. But what we have done this time is all those components have been put through a rigorous set of testing regime so that we are thoroughly convinced that these components are not going to get into any problem during the mission. This is one of the key lessons we have learned from Chandrayaan. So star sensors will perform? Yeah, we have, one of the things is we have also put a star sensor which is from, which we are importing from the Sodan. So there is one technology different also, different also is there. One of it is our own, another one is from a different source. So in terms of uh, technology differences also we are taking care. Are there extra redundancies you have made in your hardware compared to what was flown in Chandrayaan? 
Now, in terms of spacecraft, yes, we have done many things. In terms of the, the bus management unit and the decoupling between the telemetry and telecommand, many of the things we have taken special precautions. And we have got more uh, paths through which we can operate and then get out of in case of any difficulties. But that is one of the key lessons. And then apart from that, the spacecraft itself, because we have to operate it for a long time without visibility, so there is a great amount of autonomy built into this satellite. And this is also one of the new things. And all these aspects have been thoroughly tested during the course of our spacecraft level testing. What happens next on India's interplanetary missions? What, is, what are you planning? Now, immediately after this, of course, our Chandrayaan-2 is one of the activities that we are going to do. And, uh, of course, uh, AstroSat launch will be there. And beyond that, Aditya we are working on. So uh, many instruments, many payloads uh, for Aditya mission also are an important uh, aspect. So we are working on these three at, the point, at this point of time. Any follow-up missions for Mars? Yes, definitely. Our next uh, follow-up mission will be 2018 is a better opportunity compared to 2016 in terms of uh, Delta V requirements. So we are now started looking at what kind of things could be done for the future missions. We will be going through a series of discussions and look at what we can build for the next Mars mission also. So, so will you give India a big gift the same way Chandrayaan gave water on the moon? Can we expect some gifts? Of course, we would uh, love to do such a thing, but what happens, we have to wait and see. This is science. Technology is going to deliver, you are hopeful, but science... Yeah, in terms of science, what you are going to get tomorrow is a, question, is a big if, because many times what you think you have done everything and you are getting, you may not get. But at the same time, sometimes you think you are not expecting anything, you may get a big result. So we are hoping for the best, preparing for the worst. So. Hoping for the best, preparing for the worst, India hopeful of getting good results from Mars with camera person Alphonse in Bangalore, Pallav Bagla for NDTV.